Okay, this is your default screen that it starts up to. Now we have a lot of stuff on here, so we're going to do a little bit of a pendant overview before we start. Okay, so on the right side, we're going to focus on this side. So first, we're going to start with the e-stop, which is your pendant e-stop. We can do that. You see you got an emergency stop. Now to reset that alarm, you have a little R in the bottom. We hit that, we reset it. Okay, we have a key switch here. So this is your teach mode and your play mode. We also have a remote mode, which is if it's in a, uh, if you have a remote box on it. We're gonna leave it in teach for now. Okay, we have, this is a command, like an okay button, stop button, or exit. Um, on the back side of this, this is our dead man switch back here. So it's a two position switch, one, two. So to enable the servos when you're jogging, you're going to have to have it in a center position. If you push it too hard, it'll disengage them as well. Moving on down this side, we've got uh, our gas test on this side. So we'll hit that, you hear the gas. And we have the wire feed, which is wire plus and wire minus. And you can turn the camera on the torch and actually see the wire plus, wire minus going in and out. There's two separate keys for that. So that is the continuous feed there. And then we have just, this is just literally inching feed. You can see you hit it one time and it just inches it out just a little bit at a time. Okay. And uh, moving on down, we have, this is our window selection screen. So this one with the little box. So if you have a couple different windows, sometimes you'll have different windows open on here. You'll notice how it switches in between the two. Okay. We've got our speed setting, which is right here. Now you'll notice, as you see that right there, the speed increases. And it's right there and there. And this is a full touch screen, so you can also just touch it right there and hit it. Or you can slide the bar. And... If you're not into your finger, we do have a stylist in the rear. So you can take this stylist and it's actually really accurate. We're able to move it and put it wherever we want it. And this is just quick one, quick selections. And then we have, this is just, that's literally one uh, millimeter at a time. So it'll go really slow. That's kind of your step mode. So what that does is uh, kind of like a CNC machine where it just does one millimeter, one millimeter every time you hit the jog button. So, okay. And then uh, moving on around. So we'll just click out here to exit that. Now, when you start up, you're, wanna, you, you're going to have to engage the motors. Now to turn those on, and you can see we've got all kinds of errors going on because I was trying to hit the dead man and everything without the motors on. So to enable the machine to be able to jog it you're gonna to have to hit this button which this enables the motors more or less turns them on reads everything says we read it we're great okay and you can hear them when I hit the dead man you can hear them the brakes disengage and we can jog right now we can't jog yet until we hit this button this right over here three selections I'm gonna start with this one which is more or less no jogging that's jogging off this right here allows you to jog the robot. So as I hit this dead man, you'll notice the yellow side, we have our J1 through J6. So if we wanted to individually jog the axis and we didn't want to hit the buttons, so this plus and minus, that's how we're going to get it to move. You can use the wheel. So now you see how I hit that. Now you've got J1 through J6. Now you can use this wheel to actually jog it it's not anything that's that's anything that I really like or that I found to be very useful but you might so I'm gonna move it back to this now when I let off of that now we're gonna be back into J1 now we can move the robot and this is each individual axis at one time now I'm gonna show you where the coordination key is so this right here now when it flies out, you'll see all these options. So the blue and the red line together, the arrow keys, that's uh, just your individual joints. So you'll see it J1 through J6. 
Now when we go to this, this is like world mode. So this will be equivalent to a CNC machine. So now when we hit X plus, X minus, the robot's gonna go straight forward. We'll turn the, turn the speed up. It's gonna go straight forward and all joints are gonna move in coordination with each other. Y is right to left and Z is up and down. Now the other three, the A, B, and C, that is where you get your torch angle from. So that is to lean left and right, forwards and backwards, and this is your rotation, the C is. So we have plenty of rotation there. So that's how you fine tune and get into position for welding. Now, as we're on this, you see this one right here, this is tool mode. And technically what that does is turns the coordination. Now, when you hit X plus, you'll notice that we're still moving forwards and backwards, but it's to the orientation of the tool. Same thing. And this works really good for exiting welds. So you can hit Z plus and you can exit that weld at the same angle as you were actually welding it in. So it, uh, that's a very useful tool. Now, um, when we come on down here, we'll hit this, and this is your part jogging. We don't have a part set up, but technically, say that you had a, a part that was positioned 45 degrees from the actual base. So what that would do, that would actually turn your, your uh, plane uh, parallel with the part. So your X, Y, and Z are going to jog in orientation to the part. And that's, that's something that you probably won't really use just because we can keep it in world mode and we know exactly which way we're going and jogging. So that's that. Now we're going to get into just a little bit on this screen right here. This right here, and, and as you notice, you know, we hit this button here a while ago, but you know, you can just click into it and, uh, and it's just more or less a Windows based controller. So. We're going down through here, and the beeping does get annoying, but we just, uh, you can go to any of these programs at any point in time, and uh, let's just say we want to click on Josh. Now, we can do a, a variety of things here. We can uh, rename it, back it up, delete it, um, or just open it. Um, so, you can do that. You can hit this open button, and we open that up. Okay, now we're going to close it, same button. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just technically, you can come over here, double click on it, and it opens it up as well, and we can close it. Now, everything does save, so whenever you see these prompts like this to save, you don't have to, as you're programming, you don't have to save anything. It automatically saves everything for you. So, uh, don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to close out of that program. That's just a small uh, pendant overview that will get you started and set up.